We are back to our course, the SQL database with Java, and today we're going to get started with our graphical user interface Java program. Graphical user interface C has an acronym which is GUI or GUI. Well, we are going to start to create our app using the graphical user interface to make an interaction with our database and see the results on the screen. The goal of this course is not to design any interface. That's why I'm going to bring the interface to you and we are going to work on the interface together. Without further ado, be ready and let's go. Here is the program already opened. I'm going to leave this folder of the project in the resources of this lecture. Don't worry if you don't understand anything about interface design because we are going to be developing together all the necessary code to make this program integrated with our previous developed app. I recommend you to have the JavaFX environment configured in your machine because from now we're going to be developing JavaFX type application. Basically it's an application that has a user interface based on the JavaFX. If you don't have your IDE, IntelliJ at least, is smart enough to download all the necessary tools that you need to configure. The easiest way to do this is simply come here into File, New, Project, and select the JavaFX type application. Other IDEs can also have this feature of automatically downloading the tools of JavaFX if they are needed and you don't have in your computer in order to be able to develop these type of applications. Here you can give any name that you want. I'm going to leave demo1, leave the default language build system and framework. I'm going to leave the project SDK version of 17. You can change if you want and you don't need to add any dependencies right here. How I have the JavaFX uh, environment in my computer, what I'm going to do is simply cancel. But in your case, you're going to click on finish. What's going to happen if you don't have? The IntelliJ is going to download all the necessary tools and install in your IDE. Then it's going to create a demo application. Usually it's going to be a simple code, simple UI saying hello world. After that, what you're going to do is simply click on run to see if everything is going to compile and you're going to be rendered with a simple screen just to tell you that everything is working fine. If you find that screen, that means you have the environment in your computer, otherwise you don't have. But how you are a good developer, if you don't have, you can simply go to YouTube or Google and look for the configuration of JavaFX environment. It's easy. I'm going to click on cancel. After that, we are ready to move on. Let me run this program and present to you what we are going to be developing. Okay, here I have the interface. It's pretty beautiful and elegant and simple. This is the interface that we're going to be working on. This is music DB on the left top corner. Save your sound, our logo. It's beautiful and simple. Here below the logo, we have the menu on the left side. The artist is when you click here, you're going to be presented with this screen on the right side where we have the path where we're currently on. We have the search bar to so search for artists. We have this amount of records that we have of artists. At this moment, this is not coming from the database, but we're going to make it work. And here we have the button to add artists. This is going to be a way we're going to display the artists. It's a table. Here we have now a contudo na tabela. This means there's no content in the table. It's written in Portuguese. This is the column of the table. Next, we can go to albums. We have an album, the amount of records. We can look for album. We can see the albums right here. On songs, it's basically the same idea. We can add, see the amount of records. We can search for a song and add song and see song. Here, we can find the albums for a specific artist being displayed on this table. We can find the artists for a specific song and we can find the song details, the artist name, album name and the track number. 
this is what we are going to work on it's going to be productive and fine let me close the application and we are close it the first thing that we're going to do in this class after I show you this interface is to incorporate the models that we have created let's go to our program music that we developed together in the previous section here I have music and copy this model I'm going to give a control C or command C if you're on Mac I'm going to minimize come here to the package where I have the music DB graphical user interface application and its controller and I'm going to pass on it the model package I'm going to click on OK and wait for the import it was imported successfully I'm going to close these glasses since I don't need them right now now we have here a new thing that I want to present to you music db graphical user interface controller this is basically a class that's going to control our user interface application here you don't need to worry about what this handle clicks does but it basically handles the clicks if you have a basic understanding of java you can even see what it does our music db graphical user interface controller class is going to be using our data source it's going to be using this data source behind the scenes to work with the data theoretically and practically we can have in our application multiple data sources if we have more than one data source instance in our application we would have to define the instance responsible for opening the connection to the database and closing that connection for simplification we can do something in our application we're going to use only one instance and usually when we work with data source we use the singleton pattern to create that type of instance singleton pattern is just a soft pattern that's going to allow us to create only one instance of our data source class and it's going to keep the global access across our object it's going to be useful for us when we only need one object to coordinate all the actions in our application let's right now make our data source uh, class be able to be instantiated with the singleton part right it's going to be private because only this class must have the access to the creation of the object itself it's going to be static because i want to have access from static blocks and data type is going to be data source and i'm going to give the name of instance new data source okay here we have i have to put an uppercase s right here and we're going to create a method which is going to be public responsible for retrieving this instance this is going to be public static data source get instance usually we use the get instance as the name of the method when we are working with a singleton pattern and we want to get the instance you can give any name but it's usually used get instance get instance and this is going to simply return for us the same instance that it has on this class that's it we have guaranteed that only have the possibility to create only one instance of the data source class the next step that we are going to take on our development is open the connection to the database and close the connection to the database uh, when our user opens the window of the application we're going to show the results of the artists what we want to guarantee is that we have the connection open it to the database before we render and construct the java fx ui fortunately we have a place where we can place the code for opening and closing the connection to the database at the appropriate moments and we are going to close the connection to the database only when our user closes we're going to take advantage of the unique and the close methods of the JavaFX. So let's go there and build that uh, open and closing methods. 
here we can simply come and override with alt insert two methods the init and the stop not close it's stop here on init what we are going to do we are going to simply call our data source that get instance that open to open the connection to our database so we call data source the get instance open here we want to open when we initiate the application and here we are going to close connection to the database right now what i'm going to do i'm going to run and see what we have as the result okay do you see what we get oops something went wrong no suitable driver found for jdbc sqlite and here we have the path okay i'm going to change this path since i don't want to use the database hosted where uh, i was hosting on the previous section and you can also see that even with no suitable driver found we have this interface rendered that's not what we want so let's solve that what we're going to do is check if the data source open it successfully if that's not the case we're not going to open the interface we're simply going to print a message saying unable to connect to the database and exit the application here we simply have to make a small modification and say if the data source that got instance that open is not true that means we didn't open the connection to the database we can simply print out a message but if you want you can simply pop up a window but just for a small demonstration we're going to print here unable to connect to data base and what's going to happen we're going to call the platform that exit to exit this application we can run and i'm going to come here to the data source and change the connection string path right here because i don't want to leave where it is but if you feel comfortable with the path that you have on your side that's cool i have changed the path here and you can see what happened oops something went wrong no suitable driver found for here we have with transactions this is the oldest path and unable to connect to database that's correct right now what we have to do we have to incorporate the jdbc sqlite driver how we do we already know that we come to file project structure we add a new library right here java you navigate and see where your sqlite jdbc driver is click on ok click on ok apply okay now we can run again and see if we're going to have this error i hope to don't have this error and it's here it opened it successfully we don't have anything written right here on the console our application is here we have got started with our application we are ready to move to the next lesson where we're going to be implementing the features to display all the artists that we have on our database when our user opens the application this is the end of the class revise and let's move to the next in this lecture we're going to implement the future to display the artists with this lecture we're going to learn how to perform a, a long task on the background be ready and let's go we left our program here so i'm going to run to see if everything is working fine before we make any modification okay we have here the window being showed everything is how it should be let me close and let's get started well we're going to display all the artists when our application starts in the artists table. Uh, let me run again to show you what table it is. We have to keep in mind that when we work with JavaFX, the long tasks are always going to be executed on a background thread and not on the main thread of our JavaFX application. 
the RTC table is this one so we expect to see the results of the RTCs being displayed right here we will have to use helper classes to run background threads from a Java FX application the steps that we need to follow are basically to create a task to make it an operation in our database we're going to initialize our task with the required values to operate it only if it's necessary and we're going to implement the task call method to perform the action and finally we're going to bind the, the call method results to the table items property I'm going to be explaining why I code let me cancel this and let's go to the class music db graphical user interface controller we may want to display the results of the artist when our user explicitly says that he wants and when our application simply opens we have more than one possibility that's why we're going to create a separated class in our controller let's come here my computer is not responding okay let's come here and create a class that's going to model the process of getting all the artists let's come here and it's going to be an inner class we can write class right after this class of music db key controller we're going to write in class right here get all artists task and this is going to extend the task class here we have we need to override a method right here but before we do so let's import this class the method that we're going to override is going to be right here to return us an observable list i can't see right here but in either way i'm going to write it manually here i want to have a public method that's going to return to me an observable list what's happening an observable list of the artists of artists okay and this method is going to have the name call okay i'm having here call what we're going to have i want to get rid of these errors i'm going to import and put the notation here add override over write the method this method is going to return for us an observable list so we simply have to click here on return fx collection dot observable array list what list are we going to return the list that is going to be returned from the method that we have developed in our data source query the artists let's come here to our data source and find that method query the artists here we have what happens this method simply returns for us all the artists we pass the order of sort we can pass ascending or descending or not we can simply change this method to return for us directly the observable list but we won't do this just because we want to separate the user interface code from the application code here we're going to pass data source where are you data source that get instance dot query the artist and we're going to put it on the ascending order okay here we have we're going to take the advantage of data binding for that we'll need to make a small change on the class of artists we're going to make this change and this change will not violate the user interface from the data source code since the modification that we're going to make here is simply 
to make our data types become simple integer properties and simple string properties and these classes are not from the ui simple integer property and come here put simple string property okay here we have these getters and setters what it can do is simply put the getters and setters for us automatically here we have right now we have to see if our name field in the artist is class is mapped with the name in the column table we can come here to our music db a graphical user interface view fx and look for the artist table as we can see we have the property name which is being matched with the name right here in the simple string property that's it now we can come back to our music db graphical user interface controller and continue with our code we are going to create the method that's going to retrieve all the artists right here in our controller this is simply a class but we need to have a method that's going to uh, instantiate this class and get for us the artists let's come here before we handle the clicks after the initialization this method needs to be public we don't have a return type and we can say list the artists give a name that you feel comfortable and it should be suggestive here we create the task and this task data type is going to be the observable list this one of artists observable list of artists and we can give the name of task this is going to be an instance of get all artists task we have to refer to our table right here that has the name of artists table let me find to you I want to show you the table okay but let's just write it's going to pop up for us artists artists table okay we don't have the reference but don't worry let's come here give a notation to the table that we want to work with the table that we want to work with is this one with id artists table so we simply have to come here to our music db controller put a notation at fxml type file and this one is going to be a private this is a table view type table view of artists and the name is artists table let's import this class that's fine we have to continue with our method development we can bind the results to it so we call artists table that items property bind our task that value property and we have to create a thread that's going to run this task new thread task and we simply start we can do all these operations using anonymous class but we won't use anonymous class right here because we're going to want to display these artists in different moments after that we have to initiate the query of our artists well because the controller that's what you need to know isn't created until the fxml is loaded this file right here which occurs in the start method of our music db application right here because of that and we want to ensure that the ui has been built before we load the results we will have to initiate the query of the artists on this method start in the main job file this one how can we do this we need to get the controller and from the controller we need to push that method to run 
so some modifications are required right here I'm going to rewrite this start method a bit starting with the fxml loader first this is going to be our loader and this is going to be equal to new fxml loader get class that get resource and the resource is the same as this one I have right here okay next what I'm going to do is say parent root okay I have here this parent root this is going to be simple equal to the loader that load method to load now we can get the controller so we say music database graphical user interface controller controller is equal to loader that get control now that we have the controller we can call the method list the artists to run so controller that list the artists it's important to fix what i'm seeing because the controller isn't created until the fxml is loaded which occurs in the start method and we want to ensure that our user interface has been built before we load the results we we'll need to initiate the query of our artists on the start method in the main job file so let's see if everything is working fine right now okay we have an exception right here and it's a bad new let's see can't invoke javafx in control table view items property because this that artists table is null let's go and see okay artist table could be null let's come here and say this is going to be equal to new just table view okay leave it and run again what problem can we find right here okay nothing bad but we don't have the content on the table and we don't have any exception let's see what's happening with our program i'm going to close it and see where probably the error is we have to return it and observable array list with our data source we have our task cool we have started we get all the artists let's see if we have any problem here on the fxml artists table we are matching with the width if we had the name property let's come here to our artist is nothing bad it's nothing bad okay let's create a constructor here i'm not going to pass nothing to the constructor artist is okay and say this that id is equal to new simple integer property and this that name is equal to new simple string property okay let's run this program again and see if we have any problem what's happening there's no reference okay okay i'm clicking on control and with the left click to see what's happening and i don't find any reference on the exit fxml file probably is the problem okay here we have artists table and here i have a reference to fxml artist not artists let's see if this is going to solve our problem right now i hope it solves okay we have here a bug we have simply the rows we can see any data in our table don't worry we are here to solve this if you find a bug don't worry simply look for the information the computer is talking to us let's read here the exceptions we can't retrieve property right here we provide a class type class con that example music db model artist okay cannot access right here model cannot access this class model artist in 
the module com that example music tb which is this one because the module new com that example music this b that tb doesn't open the model to java fx base okay and to solve this i'm going to leave on your hands if you don't know how to solve come with me i'm going to tell you how you can solve the problem here is with our module info some ides while you code they make all the importation of the necessary statements to the module info files updating while you write and others don't intellij sometimes does and sometimes it doesn't what i'm going to do is to export here the model also since we are going to need it to use com that example that music db the model package that we have introduced and we also need an open of this model to the java fx that fx ml so here opens com that example music db that model to java fx that fx ml let's see if this is going to solve our problem right now i hope it solves our problem it's compiling or not okay here we have here we have Andrea Borselli, Antrax, Antonio Carlos Jobim, Ariana Grande, Beyonce, Brenda, Holloway, and so on. Our results are here. That's beautiful for us. Our results are being shown on the screen. This is a record we can simply delete using the SQLite DB browser. Let me go there, delete. But the most important part is here. We can retrieve the data from our database and put on our screen. We can go to albums, nothing is presented, but if you come to artists, you have the results. I'm here on the database and I'm going to delete this record here. Okay, I have deleted. Now I can simply open this database again and see if I'm going to find it. Okay. I'm on artists I don't have right now what I'm going to do is simply come to this app close and open it again okay now I don't have that blank record we have done the first step let's move to the next lesson this is the end of the class in this lecture, we're going to implement the feature to display albums for an artist. This is the first part. Be ready and move on with me. I'm here where we left our program. I'm just running it to see if everything is working fine before we modify it. Here we have the artists being displayed. Everything is working fine. The idea is that we click on an artist, for example, Beyonce, and we click on albums artists. After we click here, we must see all the albums that belong to Beyonce now we can see nothing because we haven't implemented yet don't worry about this table right here behind this main one this is happening because I didn't fix the superposition and this is about user interface we're going to fix it okay the idea here is to get the artist selected ID query the artist's album based on the id and show the results on the table right here for example we can get the beyonce's id query the i albums for beyonce based on her id and show these results on the table this table we have a method that is responsible for querying the albums for a specific artist but it uses the name we can use the name but we won't use because Queries performed with IDs are much faster than queries performed with any other field. That's why we won't use the artist name, but we can use. For that, we are going to implement a new method that is going to perform the query using the ID. That's why we also 
have to implement a new query let me close and put our hands on the work right here after query album string I'm going to create a new string this string is going to be the query string for the albums by artist ID I'm going to say PSFS why it doesn't autocomplete for me I like autocomplete PSFS public static final string okay I'm going to give the name query albums albums okay by artist ID and this is going to be equal to nothing special here because we have been developing queries select all from what is the table is the table albums albums where what the column of album artist is equal to something that we don't know we're going to be using prepared statement order by what the column artist name which is simply name and we're going to collate no case that's it we have developed the query string now what we have to do is to create the prepared statement object I'm going to come right here after the query album prepared statement and create a new prepared statement private prepared statement is going to be query album query albums by artist ID and what I'm going to do now it's time to start using this prepared statement let me come here where we start opening our connection and I'm going to come and initialize that prepared statement object query albums by artist ID this is equal to connection dot prepare statement and the query string is this one query albums by artist ID first part done let's close our prepared statement here before we close the connection so we're going to say if the query albums by artist ID is not equal to null we simply want to close okay now that we have prepared our statement and we can come to the implementation of query the albums for artists but using the ID here we don't have anything new it's going to be a public method and it's going to return a list of what a list of album object we have to create this object and I'm going to say query the album for artist ID and it's going to take an int ID before we start implementing this method let's create this object right here let's go to model uh, create a new ways new Java class this one is going to be album the fields that we have are private we're going to be using simple integer now we are developing thinking on what we will need in the future simple integer the first thing that we have is the ID of the album then we have simple string simple string where are you property we have the name we have simple integer the artist which will hold the artist's id now we can generate the gather and sever okay 
and we can create right here a constructor I'm going to say out insert we are you constructor the first option none of them okay select none album I'm just going to say this that ID is going to be equal to new just to initialize simple integer property this the name is equal to new simple string property and this the artist is going to be equal to new simple integer property that's it now we can continue with the development right here on our data source album now we don't have any complaint we're going to just open a try block to make the query we have to set the id to our prepared statement so query album by artist id let's set int in the first parameter is going to take the id we create a result set object just hold the results query album by artist id we execute the query we create a list containing what albums these albums and is going to be equal to a new array list okay and while our result set that next is true that means it has records what are we going to do we're going to create new instances of album new album and we're going to set the parameters to the album album that set id this is going to be the result set that get int on the first column album that set name result set get string album we're going to set the artist to be the result set that get int on the column with index 3 and we're going to add to albums the album that we have created after all we're going to return what our albums list we have to catch right here so let's write catch a possible SQL exception e and we will simply return no but just for our purpose of visualization we can simply write here failed to query albums plus e that get message or we can print the stack trace we have implemented uh, all in our program talking about the data source in the next lecture we're going to be modifying the fxml file just a bit and we're going to be implementing the coding the, the controller object end of the class let's move to the next be ready and let's go we left our program here let's start with the small modification that i told we would have to do in our fxml file here the first thing that we're going to do is to change this name to be more meaningful the first thing that we're going to do is to create an artist object that's going to hold data of the selected item so we come here and say artist artist is going to be equal to artist table where you get selection model that get the selected item that's how we get the first thing that we're going to check is if the artist is equal to null if that's the case that means we haven't selected nothing and we're going to print just for our development purpose right here no artist selected on the next line what we are going to do we are going to return but before we return it can be useful for us just to 
set this label status max max to be albums artist and when we find the artist we can change this word artist here to be the artist name in this case i'm going to leave this here if we successfully can execute what's below the line of return that means our program didn't return and it found the artist we have to create a task that's going to get all data from our database based on the artist id and it's going to return an observable list of albums we're going to create a thread to start the task and show the output on our table let's create the task here containing an observable list of what of album okay the name is going to be task is equal to new task this time we're using the anonymous class here because we simply want to execute this operation only one time and this is the time when he clicks on the button to see here what we're going to do return what fx collections that observable array list that's going to be found on our data source that get an instance of it query the albums for artist id the recent method that we developed and we pass the id of the artist that we found right here next let's close here next thing what we are going to do is to bind these results to the albums artist table so we call albums artist table i don't have albums artist table right here okay that's not the end of the world let's come here up and bring that albums artist table for us i'm just going to copy this line Control past control V I mean but I think we already have here let's go up no we don't have we don't have okay fxml this is going to take what albums and this is al albums artist table is equal to a new table view let me see if the id is this one albums artist table because they must match where i have here albums artist table it's fine i can come here down and say albums artist table items property bind the results task that property value and we're going to put the label status maximum text it to be albums between parentheses the artist's name albums artist that get name and close the parentheses now we have to create a new thread take the task and start okay i hope this solves our problem let's run and see if we have the output that we need i have a problem here unable to connect to the database something went wrong or missing database near order okay i have a syntax error so let me fix it where it is I have here the data source this is because of the last query that we developed right here order okay order by okay our application is here let's create an uh, click on albums artist okay here we have no art selected it's working how it should don't worry about this window behind the main one 
we're going to fix that let's come to artist and click Ariana Grande I know that she has an album call it thank you next Ariana Grande okay we have albums Ariana Grande but we don't have results and we have many exceptions right here at least something is working let's see what happened Beyonce okay now it's not working let's close and see what our exceptions can tell us okay let's see table column cannot cast it to class javafx scene table column cell data futures i'm going to navigate through these uh, exceptions and find the error we have defined the wrong element here it should be cell value factory let's run again and see okay let's come to Beyonce or no Ariana Grande I hope to see thank you next okay my everything and thank you next don't worry about this blue background here we're going to be fixing this is a problem about the design of the interface and not the code the essential is here we have the albums I can come here Beyonce albums you see Beyonce albums for Beyonce for Lemonade Lion King the gift Bruno Mars I know that he has an album 24k magic here we have we can go and see for more for example jay-z 4 44 okay we can see kenny west here we have jesus skin kids see cause and so on rihanna we can see and see it's working how it should end of the class we are going to implement the features to display the artist's amount of records. Be ready and let's go. We will want to show the real results of the artist's records that we have in our database. This 10,000 needs to be excluded. So let's start making this. I'm going to close and come here into my fxml file and find you what that label is. Here I have label artist count is the id and i have predefined the text it to be 10,000 rec i'm going to remove it and come to my controller where i'm going to code what i need to get the results we know that we have a method here in our data source class that gets for us the amount of records that we have on a specific entity so let's go there and find the method which is get count get count here we are okay we're going to be using this method and we're going to pass as the parameter table artist is going back to our controller let's write the method it's going to be public void we can give the name show artists count this is going to take a new thread and inside of this thread what we are going to do we're going to obviously override the method run since this is the method that's going to be executed when we start this thread and inside of the method run we're going to set the text to our label so let's find the label it is label artist discount if you can't find this label what you have to do is simply come here to let's put the notation at fxml private label label artist discount come here that set text method and inside here we're going to pass the amount of records that we get from our data source that get instance we're going to run the method get count and we are going to pass data source that table artists and we're going to concatenate with rec okay 
Next, we have to simply start this thread. We're pretty much done. Let's come here to our music DB controller. Call controller dot show artists count. But before we execute, we want to make sure that we format correctly our number that's going to be displayed. For that, we're going to be using the new decimal format to format for us. Let's come here and put new decimal format. And we're going to be using the pattern where we get a number followed by three numbers separated by comma or period and we're going to format what we get as the response of our query here let's run and see if we have the output here we have in our application i'm sorry for this window popping here i'm going to put it here here we have 43 records it's working if you want to confirm you can simply query the amount of records in your database using db browser or you can simply count but trust me we have 43 records this is the end of the class let's move to the next let's add the future to query the artist in our application be ready and let's go the idea is to come here to this search bar write the name of an artist for example Beyonce and click on this icon to search if artist exists our table needs to select for us Beyonce and scroll to Beyonce that's it let's close and start implementing okay the icon that we are going to be working with is this one with the ID button find artist this is the icon that we're going to be clicking on let's assign here a, a function that's going to be run when we click so on mouse click we're going to be using a new handler which is going to be handle icons click here in our application controller we have to write that handle click method why we are not going to be using the handles that we already have here and simply write else if and check because the data type that comes here in this uh, handle clicks is action event type while we want to work with mouse event type and we want to separate them from the handle close method that's why we are creating handle icons click so at fxml private no return handle icons click this is going to take mouse event object and this is event okay we're going to check if the event that gets source is equal to our button and our button has the id button find artist here we're going to say it's not button but it's icon so visually it may seem like button for someone who doesn't know how to code but for us it's an icon so let's come here and write button find artist okay well here we can't find button find artist it should be here since that's the case let's come here and bring to our code add fxml private font awesome icon view and this is button find artist okay let's go back and start writing our code what we are going to do is to get all the records that we have in the, our artists table we're going to compare what we are going to write in the artist search bar with what 
exists in each record of our table if we find any of them what we are going to do is to select and scroll into the record we have to use the artist table that get items back the stream for us this is a stream of artists and filter when we filter we're gonna remove each item as item and for that item we're going to compare the name with what we get from the search bar so let's use the advantage of the objects class if these objects are equal what the item specifically the name if it's equal to what we get from artist search bar so let's come here artist search bar okay it's not imported here so let's go back here and find a way to import we have to find a good place to insert our text field here okay we have this text field we can put below this is going to be private at fxml before i write private text field artists search bar okay let me see if it's correct or not we have this search bar artist search bar and here we also have artist search bar let's come and continue with our code right here we have artist search bar that get text which is the text that we're going to get we want to find any if present what we are going to do we're going to take the response as item and we're going to get the selection mode of our artist's table and select this item that's present so we say artist's table that get selection mode though that select my computer is slow i don't know why that select we're going to select the item oh no and we're going to scroll to the item that's what we have to do let's save this code and run to see if everything is working fine my id is not working fine i don't know why because i don't have any errors right here highlighted by red but i have this red line below the name of my class but let me run it. let's write beyonce and see what we have here we have beyonce let's write another artist i'm liking the development of this app drake i'm writing popular artists justin timberlake and finally ariana grande here we have you can start implementing other features for other entities let's come here and find albums here we can see my everything thank you next and it's working we can look for bruno mars right here okay here we have bruno mars and his albums 24k and orthodox checkbox we're going to be fixing this proposition don't panic let's close and stop this is the end of the class let's move to the next we're going to implement the progress bar in our application be ready and let's go apparently our application doesn't have the progress bar but that just true to the user's eye but for us programmers we have we can see here in the fxml file we have a progress bar and it's unique but i've set a visible property to be false let's change to true stop and rerun this program so that we can see where the progress bar is here we have when we fetch the data in our application 
from the database we query all the artists it doesn't matter how many artists it has when we have a huge amount of artists or records generally speaking in our database when we query the amount of time is going to increase as the amount of records increases the opposite is true sometimes we can render the ui to our user and the data is still being fetched by a task in the database that may look like the app is going to be frozen to the user's eyes but that's not what we want to make him or her feel we want her to know or him that our app is doing something behind the scenes that's why we're going to be using a progress bar just to give that perception to our user I want you to know that we have another way of querying records commonly used when we have a huge amount of data and making our user don't feel like our app is frozen that's by fetching the data in terms of blocks and it also reduced the time of querying for data for example I can have a table with 500,000 records I can query the data from record 1 to 50 from 51 to 100 from 100 to 300 and so on in our case we're going to be doing what we have done here we're going to take all the data from the database table and put the data to the table let's close this the idea is to don't show the bar when our task is cancelled, succeeded or fails. Show it when our task is ongoing and bind that bar to the task. What we have to do is come here to our list the artist method and the first thing is to bind. Let's find our progress bar here progress bar okay we don't have so let's come here it can be after these grids and push it to our java file so let's write the notation at fxml at fxml is private private progress bar I'm going to call it progress bar okay accept the import of the class progress bar dot progress bar property bind our task the progress bar property the next line we're going to make our progress bar visibility to be true so set visible to true now let's say what we want for our progress bar states to be according to the state of our task let's say task that set on concealed let's use lambda expressions here progress bar that set visible to be false when our task get succeeded we don't want to show and when it gets failed we also don't want to show so set on here succeeded we don't want to show set on failed we don't want to show that's what we have to do the next step is to run our program simply okay we couldn't see the progress bar that's for a reason we don't have a huge amount of records and that task bar is not going to be visible because it was fast to be queried what we are going to do now is to make the process of fetching the data be slowed let's come here to our data source and here where we fetch our data query the artist while we are writing the objects of our artists we can delay that process try just use thread that sleep let's say that we want it to sleep just for 15 miles and catch the interrupted exception here let's give the name of e and say sorry 
okay and say interrupted while fetching no while writing yes because we are writing the data to our objects either get message okay let's see if we are going to have that progress bar right? no we can't see so let's delay more just for okay 150 miles i hope this is going to be a good time for you can see the progress bar when it completes the task it simply sets the visibility to false and we have our data here in the table nothing complicated here let's move to the next lesson end of the class we're going to implement the future to update artists so be ready and let's go before we start writing the code let's have a talk when we make a creation an update or deletion of data in our application we must make sure that all what is in our database is being shown in our user interface for example if i come here and update ariana grande's name to ariana grande plus i have to find that new name in the database and i have to see here on the user interface ariana grande plus if I delete Beyoncé here, I must not find Beyoncé on the database and I must also not find Beyoncé here on our user interface. If I create, for example, AX as an artist, I must find AX on the database and I must find AX here on the artist's table in the UI. There should be a match between what we have in our database and what we have in our user interface. For small records like artists that we have here, we can requery the table every time we make an operation that changes the database and needs to be reflected on the user interface. But for large records in some database, it's going to be computer heavy to requery it and it doesn't make sense. In our case, what we're going to do is not to require it, but I'm going to explain you. We have three possible scenarios, creation, update, and deletion. What we can do is when an artist is added, we will manually add the record on the list displayed by this table view. For the update, we will manually find the record on the list displayed by the table view, which is this one and update the field and for deletion we will manually delete the record on the list displayed by the table view since we are using data binding what we are going to be making on the list is going to be reflected on this table view without further ado let's get this started but before we start i want to tell you that our ui is going to suffer some modifications we won't have add artist, we won't have add album. Why? Because we have a method here on the data source that's going to insert the song for us. We develop it together. If we pass the artist name and the album's name to the song insertion, if the artist doesn't exist, it's going to create the artist. And if the album doesn't exist, it's going to create. We also need to guarantee that we don't have an artist that doesn't have an album or a song that's why we won't be able to add artists what we will have is to add a song and that song is going to contain the artist and the album how that song contains this information our application is going to add them for us automatically so what we're going to do is to change this add artist for now let's come here to our fxml with control F find add artist okay in this button we're going to remove what's add here and here to be update since this is what we want update okay and in our icon which is plus let's find here 
this plus is going to be rotate left let's stop it's not oh, it's not running so let's running this application again and see what we have here we have the idea is to click on an artist for example now I'm going to take Britney Spear write her new name here for example Britney AM and when we click on update it must change Britney oh it's not Britney Spear it's Burning Spear okay it must change Burning Spear to Britney AM <laughs> okay let's close and go to our data source class what we have to do is start writing the query that we're going to execute after writing the query create our prepared statement and run that query let's come here up to where we write our constants in our data source and after this last one let's add a new query string let's write psfs update the artist name so we can simply write update artist name update artist name this is going to be what as we know update space the table of artists table artists we have to set the name column artist name okay to be equal to what something where the id column artist id is going to be equal to question mark the next step is to create our prepared statement where it is here is the appropriate place to do that Let's come here and write private private prepared statement update artist name. Let's open this prepared statement. We're not up here. We have update artist name we say connection that prepare a statement and we pass as the parameter the query update artist name before we close our connection we have to see if it's not null to close if update where are you differs from now what are we going to do updater's name that close here we have let's write a method to update you can place where you want it as long as it makes sense for you i'm going to place right before the insert the album i think it's after we insert the artist let's go down okay let's say insert insert the artist yes it's before the album insertion I was correct here what I'm going to do is to write a method public boolean is going to be the return type update artist name here what we are going to take is the parameter I as the parameter we're going to take the ID and we are going to take the string which is going to hold the new name well let's open a try and catch blocks here let's first set the strings to our prepared statement so update artist name that set string the first parameter is going to be the new name and the second one here for the artist name we're going to set the int value which is going to take the id next we have to execute this update and we're going to see 
what we get from the affected records number so let's create it affected records is equal to update is name by execute update and what we have to return is if the number of records is equal to one the boolean value so we simply return affected records equals to one because if it's equal to one it's going to return true otherwise it's going to return false and if it's true that means we have only updated one row catch the sql exception e is going to be the name of the variable and we simply return false okay we can even be much clever here by simply returning update artist name that execute update is equal to one by simplifying this now what we have to do is go to our controller and write the method that's going to handle the clicks for the updates let's go and write here before or after yes after handle clicks it's better we're going to create a method that's going to be responsible for handling the update clicks so we say add fxml this method is going to be private void handle update clicks takes an action event event okay we have to check if event that get source is equal to the button update artist i know why intellij is giving me this red color because we don't have update artist remember that we change it to update while it was at artist so let's come here and find ways the pattern and artist here we have let's change this to update artist now we have and on our fxml file where we have button update artist we have to set the method which is going to run when we click on so let's come here and write on action we want handle update clicks okay let's come here that error should be fixed where here we have we're going to create an object that's going to hold the selected artist we're going to take the name from the artist search bar we're going to create a task that's going to update the artist name for us and when this task is going to succeeded what we're going to do is to set the name of the artist here on our table to be the new name and we're going to refresh the page the page of the table finally scroll to that artist okay let's start by creating that artist object artist and you're going to get it from the artist table that get selection model that get the selected item next let's create a string which will hold the new name and this is going to be from the artist search bar dot get text now let's create a task of boolean type let's say task this is going to be task okay here what we are going to do oh this is going to be equal to new task new task okay here we're going to return simply what data source that get instance that update the artist name we're going to pass the artist that get id and we pass the new name let's put the semicolon here and we have to go to the next step where we are going to scroll to our artist after we update the name 
here let's say task dot set on succeeded lambda expression here what we're going to take is first check if task that value property that where are you that value property that get is equal to true if that's the case we can simply put our artist's new name to be the new name take our table refresh it and scroll to the artist that's it now what we have to do is start this task in our thread so let's open a new thread that takes the task and we simply start it okay let's run this application and see if what we expect is what's really happening okay i have the application right here so let me update who i'm going to update let me update jesse j to be jesse a b c d update let's see okay here we have jesse a b c d what we can do right now is close this application and run it again to see if these changes are really real or are fake let's see if we can find jesse a b c d here we have jesse a b c d you can see it's working let's close this application since we have coded what we need for today this is the end of the class let's move to the next class let's display the albums and the amount of records be ready and let's in our data source we have to write the queries that are going to provide us the results for what we want here let's write psfs query album start string query album start string and this is going to be equal to select all from what's the table is table albums next we have psfs which is going to be the query our albums are string as we have for the artist query album sort string okay this is going to be equal to what order by what's going to be the field it's going to be the table albums dot the column album name and collate no case that's it now what we have to do is to write our method let's go to query the artist and write after this method it's going to be a public method with the return type of list containing album this is going to be query the albums okay here we're going to take the order of sort now we know how to make this operation we've been doing is just to create our query string and write the objects that are going to be backed from our result set so string builder string builder let's say query string this is going to be equal to connection the no string builder <laughs> i'm thinking on the result set new string builder and we take query album start string next what we have to do is to append the order of sort order of sort here the query string and the query album sort string okay now let's open our try with resources here where we're going to create our statement 
statement statement this is going to come from our connection so let's create a statement right here what we're we going to do is to have our result set on the next line okay result set result set this is going to take the results from the execution of our query and we pass the query string uh, to string right here let's catch say sql exception e and print out a message failed to query plus e dot get message after we have the results what are we going to do is to create a list list of albums okay list of album data type called albums this is going to be equal to new array list now what we have to do is simply write the objects while result set that next what are we going to do we are going to write objects album album this is going to be equal to new album and album dot set what's first we're going to set the id obviously result set dot get int what we have here is the index album id which is one album dot set name result set dot get string index album name album dot set the artist result set o o result set dot get int index album artist okay next we're going to add the album to our albums array list and after all we're going to return the array list containing the albums how we want to make a small simulation of uh, being fetching many uh, albums we're going to delay but we will remove this delay because we don't have to add delay while we don't have the necessary amount of data even if we had we can't add delay because that's not the truth we're not really fetching the necessary amount of data to our application even show us the delay that would be faking so just for the purpose of seeing the bar we're going to leave this delay but we have to remove let's come here and say try we have to remove both of the albums and the artist so thread that sleep 50 miles and catch an interrupted exception e say here south okay i'm being fast than my ide wow interrupted while writing and i'm not synchronizing what i'm thinking speaking and writing e that get message okay that's all we have why i have these red lines i don't like them why 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 do we have them right here oh, oh okay okay i have to return no right here now let's go to our controller and here on the button albums is where we're going to add our logic when we click the button album we're going to create a task to perform the long background task we're going to bind the result is we're going to change the states of the progress bar according to the completion state of the task and we're going to set the label albums count here let's come and create first our task of observable list album the name is going to be task and this is going to be equal to new okay task right so let's here return what fx collections that observable array list that comes from our data source that get instance that where the albums and the order is going to be data source that i send in order okay we have here 
so let's put the semicolon here no okay the semicolon should be placed here and here not here okay next what are we going to do is to take our table and bind the results albums albums table okay i don't have here but if you come here to your fxml you're going to see so let's create a table here let's find the table views that we already have it. so the most appropriate place to put is right here at fxml let's create a table view right here of album say this is going to be what's the name albums table let me find here albums table yes albums table and this is going to be equal to new table view let's go where we have referred it here in java there's no usage here we have albums table that items property that bind task dot the value property progress bar the progress property that bind the task the progress property okay progress bar set visible to true task dot set on concealed we're going to be using lambda's expression here progress bar that set visible to false on succeeded and on failed so on succeeded and failed okay next we have to update the amount of records so let's write platform here because we want to access it from a non FX thread. Label albums count is going to be our graphical user interface component. And we can't access the graphical user interface components and manipulate them from a non JavaFX thread. So that's why I'm using platform to access it from a non JavaFX thread. Platform that run later new runnable and here is where we put our graphical user interface logic so let's find the label count okay it should find for me but we don't have so let's find where that label is here where the labels are we have label 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 okay i'm going to duplicate this and this is label albums count as you can see here where is the label albums count let me find for you control f label albums count here we have that's why i've set here to be label album count in the fxml right here let's go back uh, where we were writing our logic say labels album count that set text to be what new decimal format that's our pattern here okay that format here we're going to take the data from our data source that get instance that get count and we pass our data source the table albums okay plus rec here we have next the same column should be placed here not here next let's come to our fxml file we have to use the same elements that we previously used it let's find the cell value factory that's here where we have so let's copy this 
TXD and find the album stable. Where is the album stable? Album stable. Here you are. Let's simply delete this forward slash. Come here and close between these. Add. Okay. And here the predefined width if we can leave it at 75 or we can even come here and say the sign albums table that we did to match all the album table with it. Let's run this application and see what we have. Okay, our application has started, so let's click on albums and see what we have. Okay, at least something is happening correctly here. Now we have the amount of records. Let's wait for the results in the table. It's still processing. Let's wait. It's sitting too long. Well, it seems like we have a problem. Let's figure out. We don't have data in our table and we still have the progress bar. I found what the problem is. Well, we didn't start the thread to so make the task happen. So new thread. Let's pass our task here and start it. Okay, let's run. I hope to see the results. Let's click on albums. Do we have? Oh no, failure to query. SQL error or missing database. Uh, okay, case asking. Near case ASC. Uh, is near case I send. We have SQL errors right here. So let's go to our data source. And where we wrote the statement here, collect no case, okay, no case, and space. Let's run again. Let's see if we have albums. Please give the albums to us. Okay, here we have all the albums. We have all the albums right here. Don't worry why this table is showing us the rows in blue. That's how interface was designed. I'm going to clean this interface more and provide you the FXML file so that you can copy and paste it just to change this version. But this is not what I'm going to do now. Let's focus on making the operations that involve our data source work then we're going to focus on styling the next operations that we have to make are search for an album right here and update the album let's query and update the albums first I will ask you to copy and paste the text of this fxml file because this is the most updated version of our UI with the corrections that I have made here on albums. So now we don't have the blue background as you can see and I've corrected some potential problems that we would have on this table and for the rest of the tables that we have. Okay, here let's close and start making the implementation. If you find some errors when you copy and paste, the errors will probably be because of the IDs not matching with anything that you have in your controller class. So you will have to come here to the controller and make the importations of your objects to be valid right here. Other potential errors can be when you assigned event handlers for example here i have on mouse click it handle icons click because this is the method name if you have a different name you'll have to assign the correct names for the events right here okay now 
let's come to our controller and code in the first part which is going to be to find the album where we have the handle for the icons here we have the first thing that we're going to do is to check if the event source is button find albums we're going to copy this paste here they are pretty much the same we're going to say find album right here the table now is albums so let's select it if you want to know how i did this is simply by clicking alt and shift then clicking with my mouse albums table okay now i can remove what i have here and here we're going to get from album search bar okay now i have to import the find albums button so let me come here and say best here button find album and i have that search bar where the search bar is Okay, I'm going to look for search bar. Okay, I have the search bar here, album search bar. Let's see if we have an error here. We don't have. Let's run this program and see if we find it working. Let's come to albums and see if we can find an album. Let's say Indigo this album here we have it's working let's say scorpion here we have let's find X here we have let's close and make the implementation of update to update the album's name we will need to create a task to brand the update album's name method that we're going to be writing on the data source for that we will use prepared statements and we will start the thread that's going to make the task let's start coming here to our data source where we write queries and we have all our constants the next prepared statement is private prepared prepared statement this is going to be update album name let's create the update string let's find a good place to leave our constant okay here we have psfs it's going to be update update album name is going to be equal to update sorry my computer is not responding properly plus table albums plus set the column album name equal to something where column album id yes is equal to something okay semicolon now we can initialize our update albums prepared statement update album name is equal to connection that prepare statement this is update album name next we have to check if it's differ if it differs from null so that we can close it if update album name is not equal to null we are going to say update album name that close let's write the method update album name let's find update artist name and right here below this method let's write 
public boolean update album name as parameter we are going to take the albums id and the new name string new name what are we going to do is pretty much the same that we have done for the artist's update so let's copy and change here rather than being artist let's put album album cool now we can go to our controller and handle the click to update the album handle update clicks here we have what are we going to do here is check if the event that gets source is equal to button update album okay we don't have this button update album right here what we have to do is bring it button update artist okay i have here i'm going to use this one instead of copying and giving a new name since it was add now i'm going to say it's update because we have updated our effects ml now it found that it exists in the fxml and here in our job let's go back where we were and start coding we're going to create an album and that album is going to be what we select in the album table so let's say albums dot get selection model dot get selected item now let's create a string that's going to be the new name and this is going to be equal to album search bar that get text let's create a task boolean task this is going to be equal to new task boolean we have the call method here return data source that get instance that update the album name we pass the album that we select that get id here we're passing the id of the selected album and we are going to pass the new name so let's say task that set on succeeded what we want we want to check task that get value property where is value get value okay it's not working how it should because we must have got the value property here available property that get why I don't have this method we should have okay test that value property okay i did something wrong here it's task that value property not get value property that get we're going to say album that set name and the name of the album is going to be the new name next what we are going to do refresh our album table and go to uh, where we have our album so let's scroll until that point album okay now what we have to do is simply start this thread with our task 
start for me everything is written how it should let's run and see if we have the desired result let's go to albums okay let's update uh, among the living to become among the existence here we have among the existence updated successfully let's update what glory okay no let's update evermore to glory yes we're going to have two entries as glory glory two okay we have glory two let's leave how it was ever more and update album among the existence among the existence it was among the living i think it was that among the living okay let me update among the living as you can see it's working you can do the implementation of all these functionalities for songs since I've developed with you for the artists and for the albums. Now you are ready. Before we close, let's eliminate that delay that we have in our method to get the artists and albums. Sleep. Let's look for that. Here we have we don't want to have these delays being introduced by us and here we have let's run again here we have if we click on albums we don't have that delay inserted by us you can see the progress bar here appears but it's so fast to disappear it is so fast to disappear because our application fetch the data so fast and here I can see that I don't have rack so I'm going to fix that where do I get the data is here in my controller and let me look for rack okay the rack comes here when I show artists count where is the place where I show the albums count? Okay, I found this rack should be placed it here. Plus rack. This is the end of the class. Let's move to the next. Let's display the songs. Basically, we have to do what we've been doing for the albums and the artists. We have to create the song model. We have to create the method in our data source to query. We have to put the tasks in our controller and fix our FXML. Let's come to our data source and find the method that we query albums. Right after that method, we're going to place our new method. Let's just copy this method and do the modification. I'm not going to be writing all since it's basically the same. Where we the song here instead of album, we're going to put song. Song here instead of getting album type, we're going to get song type. They are going to be named songs. We have song data type. Here, let's change from album to be song songs and here let's change the constants first that we know that we have the index of the song ID and it's an integer the track and it's going to be index song 
track next is a, a string which is going to be the title finally we have the album we have to set the album set the title of the song songs next what are we going to do is to simply define this constants here query song start string is not going to be true now we have to create it let's come here copy past this is not for album it's not for album it's not for album but it's going to be for our song select all from table songs table songs here also and here we have the title and it's not the song name let's see if we have fixed those errors just for the parameters here they are fixed let's create the model song here which is going to be our song this is going to be a new class of song and we know the attributes that we have first is going to be a private simple integer property simple integer property we have the song id next it's private simple what is the next property let me go and check is the track simple integer property track the next is simple string property simple string okay simple string property which is going to hold the title and finally we have the single integer property album let's create a constructor public song and say this id is going to be new simple integer property just to initialize our fields this the track is going to be equal to new simple integer property this the title is going to be equal to new simple string property and finally this that album is going to be equal to new simple integer property let's create the getters and setters and we are done let's go back and see if we have a problem okay the data type here needs to be song that's why we had the red lines okay what's the problem index song album set album where do we have problem expected what okay one parenthesis the next step is to come here to our fxml and find the songs table just to add the value property here of the cells and the property value factory to match the title of our objects let's find songs table here we have instead of using the song name here let's change the title it becomes more real and meaningful for us let's change for title let's close this table column and between let's put the cell value factory and the property value factory matching the title that we have in our object now let's go to our controller and make the process work we have here under the button albums this is going to be pretty much the same so let's copy and do it for the songs here we have let's paste here 
let's start making some changes instead of getting an observable list of albums we're going to get of song here we have to put song okay let me put the t query the songs is the method that we are going to be using okay i said query the song i should write songs here so let me add s query the songs okay let me add s here also we're going to bind to the songs table now it's not albums table songs table it's not here but we can take it for our controller platform that run later we have to get the text of the records get song okay get count from the table songs next let's call the songs table to exist in our fxml file i'm going to see where the album table is I'm just going to copy paste here change to be songs and here the type is going to be song let's go back where we were okay what's the error it's getting right now what's the error an observable list this song okay it was missing the right angle now we are done with our development here what we have to do is to run this application and see if we have the desired output let's click on songs and see what we have here we have all the songs are here okay but we don't have the amount of records let's see what just happened okay get count oh okay i found where the error is we set this value to be the label albums count if i open i will probably find here on albums but I can't because this albums button also has instructions to label the albums count with the value that belongs to the albums count. What I'm going to do is here is change for label songs count, not albums count. Let me find where the label albums count is and right after this declaration I'm going to insert the songs count let me stop and rerun this program and see this should solve our problem here we have 967 records instead of putting rec let's put rex in plural let me find where rec is let's add to be rex let's go and find here rex and rex this is the end of the class let's move to the next we're going to implement a feature to query and update songs be ready and let's go to query the song we simply have to do pretty much the same that we did for the album and the artist let's change here to or instead of being find album let's say find song where we have albums we're going to change to refer to songs because we want to work with the songs table here instead of getting from the search bar we're going to get from the song search bar if you don't have these fields in your file of controller make sure that you import them here let's find from our item title get title okay it doesn't get the title from us okay that's normal what we have to do here is put songs and not song songs here also songs here we have for this feature we are done let's start implementing the feature to update our songs 
here we have this update album name let's go where it is right after we are going to write the method to update the song title update song title is going to take this id and this is going to be the new title okay instead of updating the album name prepared statement this is going to be update song title prepared statement so update song title okay now we have to create this prepared statement let's go after the update album name and create update song title this is the prepared statement right here after we initialize our prepared statement we are going to say update song title prepared statement is going to get the prepared statement parameters being the update song title now we have to create this constant what we are going to do is write after this we're going to call we're going to write update song title and this is going to update table song set the column song title column song title to be something where the column song id is equal to something okay now let's see where the error is update on title that set string is equal to one you know, no in the index one new title and second is the id what's going wrong so it seems like we don't have this variable let's see where we created here okay it's missing t this should solve the errors okay they are solved let's see the next error that we have until now And here we have update song tile should be title okay now we are ready to come here back to our controller and see what we are going to make when we click on the button update song we're going to be doing pretty much the same here let's change to song we're going to get a song data type here being selected this is going to be our song it's going to come from our songs table the string which has the new name needs to be refactored to be new title this is going to come from the song search bar song search bar here we're going to update song title we're going to get the song ID so let's say song that get ID here we have the new title here we have to write on stable task what set on succeeded this is no more album this is song this is songs table here we're going to scroll to the song and we are setting the title button update song is not here that's why we have this complaint let's find where button update album is okay before update album let's just put the update artist after update album let's put button update song is it okay right now it's okay yes for me everything is written how it should Let's run this program and see if everything is working fine. Let's go to songs and find the song Seven Rings. We can find Seven Rings, okay? Nine, we can find. Nine inch, let's update to eight inch and see if it's going to work 
okay it seems like it works the update is working but the feature to find is not working okay here where we have say eight inch i think it was six inch so let's update and here we have it's working for the update let's fix this problem here we have the method to update but we want the method to find song here the method to find song is this one or to query for that song let's make sure that this button has the reference to use that method when we click on it it doesn't have so let's add the handler here on mouse click it. This is going to handle icons click. Now it should work. Let's see right now. Seven rings. Okay, it's working. Let's update seven rings to be eight rings. Update song. Here we have eight rings. If we look for seven rings, we won't get anything. If we look for nine this song I'm seeing nine right here it's going to work let's go back to eight rings and change it to seven rings since this is the real title okay it's working let's close our program this is the end of the class let's move to the next let's implement the future to display artists for a song be ready and let's go the idea is to come to the song select the song that we want click on artist and here we have to find the song that was selected and on the table we have to find the singer of that song that's what we have to do a song can have one title perfect and that title can be used by more than one artist what makes a difference between two songs with the same title is the id we are going to take the id to base our results for that we're not going to be using the view that we have created we're going to be implementing a new query because if we use that view we can be returned by results of more than one artist because of the title that's going to be common in a certain scenario for different artists it's possible what are we going to do is come here to our DB browser. Let me share with you the DB browser. And in our DB browser, I'm going to show you the query that I have prepared. You know how to do this. You simply have to join the entity of artist, song, and albums. I have here where the song ID is 855. I'm going to run I see that the ID of the artist is 77 and the name is Bruno Mars that's what we have to do let's write this query in our constants of the data source for the purpose of shortening this video I'm going to copy and paste the constant that I have written I'm going up right after the query albums by artist underscore ID string that we have created so let me find it query albums by artist id okay right here i'm going to paste now let's create our prepared statement where is the prepared statement that was used for this it's here so i'm going to duplicate and say query artist where is query artist by song id I'm going to pass query artist by song ID I'm going where this prepared statement is I'm going to duplicate and write the new one query artist by song ID where this was opened right here I'm going to duplicate and say query artist by song ID and the query that is going to be passed here is query artist by song ID okay let's go where we close this prepared statement here we are closing right after we close this we're going to close the new one 
query artist person ID the first from now we are going to say query artist person ID that close now it's time to implement the method let's see where this was used it was used here and right here let's come and create the new method the method is going to be query the artist for song id public artist is return type we're not going to be returning the list but we're going to be getting the observable array list from our controller query the artist for song id we're going to take this invalid id here we're going to open our try and catch block query artist for song id let's set the string is the first parameter index let's put the id create our result set which is going to hold our results and say query artist song id that execute query okay let's create artist artist is going to be equal to new artist if our result set that next is true that means we have data let's set that data and set the fields of our artist result set that get in index artist id next artist that set name is going to be the result set that get string index artist name let's return our artist catch sql exception e say fail its query e dot get message and return no in this case we have done let's go to our controller and here we are on button artist song let's find the song that is selected is equal to songs table that get selection model that get selected item if song is equal to null let's just print right here no song selected and right here in label status max we're going to print artist song don't forget to return right here because we want to stop if that's the case let's create a task that takes an observable list of artists task this is going to be equal to new task of observable artist okay here we have and we're going to return fx collections that observable array list that comes from our data source that get instance that query the artist for song id and it's going to be our song id now let's find our song artist song table artist song table we don't have here so let's go and bring it to our application i'm going to copy this past here this artist artist song table here we have let's go here artist song table like items property that bind the task value property now just for a good presentation we can put some reticences if our song title is so long for convention we are going to use Read census if the length of the string is greater than 32. So if the song 
title length is greater than 32 what are we going to do our label slash max we're go it's going to get the text which is this one artist open parenthesis plus the song that get title substring 0 to 32 with census and close else what are we going to do simple label slash max set text it to be artist open parenthesis concatenate with the song title and close parenthesis now let's start this thread with our task there let's go to our fxml and don't forget right here in the artisan table we have to put our cell value factory between the cell value factory we put our property value factory let's eliminate this closing tag the property is name what is missing okay the closing right here and the predefined width can be 75 or you can give you any other dimension that you feel comfortable with let's make it match with the artist song table Okay, we are able to run this application and see what we have. Go to songs. Let's click 24K Magic and Artist. Here we have 24K Magic Bruno Mars. Go to songs, click. Here we have the result of the last selected. Here we have artist song. That means okay, we can select nothing, but we have the result from the last. If you want to remove this result go ahead and remove it's not difficult let's test with somebody else ATA is from Asha we can go best for you Maroon 5 okay we can go and find what in songs let's test with seven rings <laughs> seven rings Ariana Grande it's working let's see Agua de Beber Antonio Carlos Jobim we can move to the next lesson end of the class let's display artists for a song be ready and let's go the idea is to come here to artists write something like I love any title and click on this icon we have to find all the distinct artists that have a song with the title that looks like I love. Let's go to our data source and implement the method that's going to find all the artists for a given title. Right after this, query the album for artists. Let's please query the artist for song title. But we can do it better by putting after query the artist for song. Yes. Let's copy. After the method query the artist for song ID, we're going to place our method which is going to query the artist for song title. So query the artists for song title. Here we're going to take as the parameter a string that's going to be the title. We're going to change this prepared statement to be song title. We're going to set string instead of int, and this is going to be our title result set query the artist by title. That execute query is going to keep. We're going to retrieve a list of artists. OK, 
okay now let's change here also to list artist this is going to be equal to new array list while result set that next artist set id is going to take our result set we will have to create the artist right here and this is going to be equal to new artist this is the list of artists and we have to add the artist to our artists list and return the list of artists we should put a semicolon right here okay now let's create these prepared statements it can find the declaration okay let's find where this is and duplicate change here to be title okay let's go where this is it is here let's duplicate query artist by song id it's duplicated here in our code it shouldn't be duplicated so let's duplicate now and put title query the artist by song title this is going to be the string right here after we close this prepared statement we're going to close the recently created prepared statement query the artist by song title the first from now query song title also that close let's see what we have to do next is come and create the string right here I'm going to position myself where this string is I'm going to show you how it's going to look like here I have opened it in my DB browser what's happening here the query is getting distinct artists and artist ID and the name is from the join between song albums and artists where the song title has something before I it can have something or nothing before I but have I love and it can have something after the love the results are here Taylor Swift the Usher coder and programmer if you come here to the songs the last songs for example you can say you can see I love to code I love SQL and Java I need one computer this one is not getting in is for the artist 75 I've added recently because I wanted to test but I'm going to move from the database okay let's go and continue with our code we simply have to copy this since it's going to be pretty much the same change here to the title we have to select this Think we just want to change here instead of being equal to be like and we are done let's see where this square is being used here it is being used now let's go to our prepared statement in our method Okay, before I introduce the title, I'm going to concatenate the percentage with the title. We are done with this query the artists for song title method. Let's come to our controller and see if we are clicking on the button that's going to execute those tasks get source is equal to 
button find artist song it's not here in my controller i'm going to insert it so let me find this one say at fxml how it's here this is button find artist song here we have let's see if it's going to find in the fxml control click here we have in the fxml file let's put on mouse click it handle icons click let's go back here we're going to have our task that's going to take an observable list of artists the name is a task and this is equal to new task observable list artist return for us we want to get from fx collections fx collections that observable array list data source that get instance that query artist for song title and here we're going to pass what we get from the artist is is from the artist song search bar i think is that let me go and check yes it's artist song search bar artist song search bar that get text i have to come here where the search bar is declared i'm going to copy paste and give the name artist search bar here we have artist search bar why i have the red lines right here ah it's artist song search bar let's see if we have everything good okay let's go back here we have and semicolon here semicolon here okay now let's find the results are the song table items property bind task dot fellow property and what we would do next is basically what we did right here check if the song title that name is created in 32 and so on to avoid this repetitive code right here let's create a method and this method can be set artist song label since this is going to set a label for us here we are going to pass the song that gets title. that's all that we need let's copy this logic create a method right before we handle the close no right after we handle the close it's going to have more structure private void set as a song label and we are going to pass a string that's going to be the text let's put this logic here instead of having the song that get title get title get title let's eliminate and refer directly to our text that length okay now what we can do here in button find artist song after this we can simply call that method and put what we get from the artist song search bar text 
okay now let's put the thread best task and start it let's write this application and see if everything is going to be working fine I have a SQL error right here this no such column distinct artists that okay underscore ID that's because I didn't give a space between distinct and artists let's go to our data source and here give a space let's run we don't see results for I love but we should see let's see if everything is working fine for the others okay I love we don't have results I love okay let's see what's going on probably the problem is right here so I'm going to pass it but I've created again let's see if I'm going to have the output so let's write here I love I love okay Taylor Swift Asha Coder and Programmer it's working and if you come here select someone for example code their eyes we have jay-z and if i click i love i have taylor swift the usher coder programmer and if i put rings obviously drake and ariana grande drake has a song big rings ariana grande has a song seven rings both of them have rings that's why we have drake and ariana grande end of the class let's move to the next class let's implement the features to display details for songs be ready and let's go the idea is to come here to songs write a song title click on this icon to search and find the results of songs related to hello title it's going to be more beautiful if we display the song title right here after the track number that's why I'm going to be providing for you the FXML file that contains the column of the title of the song here right after the track number. Make sure that you copy and paste into your FXML file. Let me close this. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste on the FXML file. Let's run again and see what we have as our output. Let's go to the tail song and here we have let's start coding right here let's say if event that get source is equal to button find song detail here is where we're going to implement the logic we don't have this here let's make sure that we have here in our fxml find song detail this is the name as you can see it matches so let's copy go where we have our font awesome data types right here okay let's just duplicate any of these lines and change the name to be what we want to import okay here we have button find some details control f let's go back we have to have a method that's going to query our information of the view. Fortunately, we have and we developed it in the last section of this course. The view contains all the information that we need to fill the table. That's why we're going to take advantage of it. Let's go to our data source and find the method query the song info view this is the name of the method here we have this is method is writing objects of artist song type and we have the artist name album name and the track 
but we have to add one more thing the title of the song what are we going to do is come here say artist song dot set title but before we do so we have to come to our object and add that attribute this is going to be private the type is going to be simple string property and this is going to be the title we have to change this data type here to be simple simple string property this one is going to be simple string property and this is going to be simple integer property okay let's create a constructor here i'll insert constructor okay select none and here we're going to say this that artist name is going to be equal to new simple string property just to initialize this album name is going to be equal to new simple string property this track is going to be equal to new simple string property and no the string is not correct it should be simple integer property simple integer property yes and for the title we need to have being equal to simple string property okay let's change here since it needs to be simple integer property let's remove this property right here and let's generate the getters and setters i'll insert getter and setter we are done with the modifications needed for this class let's go back to our data source and say artist song that set title to be the result set that get it what we're going to find the index for let's see what we retrieve from our result set here let's see the query written since this is what's going to tell us what we retrieve and read we select the art column artist name the column album the column song track we need to add one more thing the title right after the track so let's put a comma concatenate with the column song title from what is already here instead of retrieving data that has the title 100% equal to what we're going to pass let's say that we want like our title okay let's go back where we were right here we need to pass to our prepared statement the title that has the percentage concatenated so let's put here percentage okay concatenate with the other percentage now we can go to our controller and implement the logic okay we're going to have a task containing artist song object types and we're going to use the method query the song info field to get the results that we want and we're going to put these those results in the song details table and use the progress bar let's say task that's going to contain an observable list of what type of objects artist song artist song this is going to be our task this is going to be equal to new task okay we have the generated code and we are going to return what effects collections that observable array list and here we pass data source that get instance that query the song info view and what we're going to get we're going to get the text that is going to be placed in the song detail search bar song detail search bar that get text okay is right here and here also next we have to bind so song 
the tail table we don't have this table right here okay but let's make sure that it exists in the fxml so let's copy control find v here we have exists let's go and find where we have table view objects here we have let's just duplicate say the data type is going to be artist song the name needs to be what we have copied now we are ready to find it here in our project that items property that bind task that value property in our fxml we have already the cells there placed we have the cell value factory that is matching the album name the artist name the track and the title if you don't have in your fxml make sure that you add them let's go and continue so let's push our progress bar the code that was read with the progress bar is right here let me find it i can see so let's see progress bar the progress pro okay here we have this is the code that i want let's go back to our code and paste it here the next thing that we have to do is to start our thread okay but before we start this thread we are going to put in the parentheses that are between the song after the tail in our user interface the song that we are looking for we are doing this repetitive time and we can simply optimize using a method so let's write a method that's going to be set label max and this method is going to take the menu since we want to use read here and we are going to use where right here up let me go with you Here when we are setting the status max of the album let's take the menu and take the data that we want to put between parentheses the menu for this one is detailed and what we want to pass is what we get from the song detail search bar text okay we have to create this method let's go right here after we set artist song label and change this name to become what set label max okay here this text is of the menu we're going to say that we take also another text which is the song We'll talk about where we have text let's change to song and use this method where we want instead of having here artist we are going to be using menu since this is going to be added according to the menu that is going to be calling this method so let's say menu plus in parentheses and here okay we have also menu I think that things are sounding naturally right now for you we've been coding these together for a long time and now let's use the method let's go to the place that have problem what we are going to place first is the menu the menu is artist and we pass the song title what problem we have set artist song label okay it should be set label max next where is the problem 
let's find cannot resolve set artist song label in this controller 430 can you go there okay this is to set the label max the menu here is of button find artist song so we should place artist okay i think we are done with this method and we the test that we need to achieve the result so let's run and see if we have any problem okay let's see if we have result let's write hello nothing let's write rings okay here we have seven rings of ariana grande big rings from drake let's write okay and see what we have we have the okay from this look okay from this broken from this smoke from this joke from this spoken okay you can see that it's work programming is something beautiful and we just express what we feel the computer really follows what we want you can see let's test what else if i just run this query with nothing it's going to bring for me every result here you can see let's write something like good and see what we have Okay, we have songs with the title related to good right here. We can even sort. We can even sort according to the track and according to the song title. According to the album name, according to the artist name. Go ahead and play with it or improve to have any functionality that you want and make sure that you share with us what you have added make a short video end of the class let's move to the next we're going to be hiding the ui elements that give the superposition of tables when we are using our app and we're going to be creating the view at the start of our application we should have created this view at the start in the previous lecture but how we didn't, we're going to do in this lecture. Be ready and let's go. The superposition I'm talking about is this one. I'm here on the details. I can come to artists or albums, come to songs, then come here to select a song and an artist. No, we don't have albums. Artist for an album. You can see I have this table and behind I have also another table. That's not what we want. Okay, let's fix this. Let's close and start work. Let's find the button albums artists. Where are you, button albums artists? Control find button. Here you are. Right after we bring our panel to the front, we're going to hide all the panels that we have. So the panel of artists, where are you? Set visible to be false. Albums, we're going to use set visible to false. Songs, we're going to set visible to false artists song to false song detail we're going to set visible to false and when we call the other panels we're going to set the visibility back to true artist song that set visible to true that set visible to true 
okay let's go and find the next song that said visible to be true albums set visible to true and artists that set visible to true this should fix that error and now let's create a method that's going to create the view for us if it doesn't exist in our application we can create after this method it's going to be public void create view for song artists this method is simply going to run the method that is responsible for creating the view that's in our data source so let's get the instance create a view for artists we have to know that this view exists in our application for example if we take this application we rest database and what we should find is our application creating this view for us for now it's working because we have the view in our application controller that create view for song artists let's run our application and see what we have let's see okay it seems like we don't have the superposition right here no more let's go to songs albums right here to artist song albums artist album artist detail artist select the artist artist for song for albums nothing bad let's close and let's move to the next lesson end of the class now we will add artist album and song be ready and let's go our interface is this one we need to have some space between the edge and these icons just for beautiful presentation we need to have some placeholders here that are going to guide us what we really need to enter on this field this and here on this window what we are going to do is simply put three here text fields want to take the artist name you want to take the album name and the song title and we are going to have a button to add okay let's close our application and put the updated version of our fxml i'm going to copy this i have here in my computer i'm going to pass save okay now we can see some space here between the icon and the edge here also we have a good space we have this placeholder so that we know we have to insert the artist name we have to insert the album name we have to insert the song title we have to insert the song title here here in the states we have the song title artist name and album name if we pass the title here we can see my hood hood remix so i can query for everything and it's still working the idea is to insert the song title, insert the artist name and the album name, then click on this plus button. What we have to see is our newly created song being inserted. If the artist belongs to our database, it needs to not create a new artist, otherwise it needs to create the artist and associate all the album and the song to the artist. It needs to create an album if it doesn't exist it needs to create that song regardless if it exists or not because two songs can have the same uh, name they can belong to different artists we're more focused on creating new albums and artists if they don't exist and associate a newly created song with them let's close our application and go back to the previous section when we created the method that was responsible for inserting the song let's see insert the song just put your mind on the previous section so that you can remember here we have our method it takes song title artist name album name and the track number 
we are we're using our own transaction okay let's see in artist id this is going to hold the id of the artist and here we have method insert the artist this method is going to insert an artist if it doesn't exist and it's going to get the artist id if it already exists let's go and see that's what we are doing here nothing new so let's go back and come here to insert the album we take the album name and the artist id that was backed from our method insert the artist here we come and we have query album okay we set only the album name and then we execute the query if we find the album name we're going to return the album id because it exists in our database and we simply don't have to create it otherwise we create the album and we return the newly generated id okay here let's see what happens with our query album our query is simply selecting the album id from the table albums where the column album name which is simply the name is equal to what we pass Imagine if scenario I'm passing an artist that exists or doesn't exist. First, it can be one that exists, for example, Drake, and the album I'm saying Thank You Next. Drake is someone, and Thank You Next is an album that already exists in our database. And Thank You Next belongs to Ariana Grande. Drake is not Ariana Grande. Our application is going to return Ariana Grande's album ID. And we are going to create a song insert on the Ariana Grande's album, thinking that we are inserting on Drake's album. That's not correct. That's a big problem. We have to make sure that when we are querying for the ID, we are looking for a place where we have the album name equal to thank you next and the artist has the value equal to the id of our artist in other words we have to see if ariana grand thank you next album has the artist equal to the drake's id that's all what we are going to do is to put here and the column album artist is equal to something we have fixed that problem let's go back where we were in our query album execute query okay insert album was being used here next what we have to do we have to put here query the album that set what in second index and we're going to pass our artist id that's all with this we have fixed that problem so now we are going to have real results because if it finds thank you next while we pass drake drake's id is 10 ariana grande's id is something that i don't have in mind right now but it's not equal to 10 we're not going to have result so we're going to create a new album with thank you next name and that album is going to be associated to drake now we can go and continue to see our method okay insert the song here we are inserting the song we have the track number okay the track number is going to be passed as a parameter but for good mm, development we are not going to allow our users to insert the track number we are going to insert the track number by ourselves okay because our user is someone that is not truly 100 percent paying attention to what he or she is doing for example i can come to the computer open the app and add a song and say the track number is equal to one then add the song to the same artist and the same album and say the next one is going to be track number three where is the track number two doesn't make sense 
we have to follow order so for the track number we are going to place by ourselves okay next the, the song title okay we get from our user the album id we have made it to be the truth number of affected rows here okay we simply keep how it is what we can change here is the return type we can make it right now return a boolean because based on the success of our execution during the insertion we are going to perform other operations we are going to make the borders of the text fields become green and if there is a failure during the insertion we are going to make them become red i'm going to pause this lecture right now and we are going to continue on the next this lecture was much more to see the potential problems that we are going to have and in the next lecture we're going to start coding end of the class let's move to the next okay let's continue be ready and let's go we saw that our user is not going to be sending for us the track number so we're going to figure out by ourselves programmers and it's more secure so right here let's create the variable track number is going to be equal to what we get from a method that we're going to be developing find maximum album maximum album track and what we pass is simple the album id it's, it's enough in order to find okay we don't have this method so let's come here and create private int find max album track and we simply have the album id we need to develop a query in order to make this let's come here into our db browser and see how the query is going to look like we simply have to select the maximum value that we're going to get from the track field on artist id is equal to album artist another john with song on song album is equal to album ID just to have the relation between the three entities where the album ID is equal to something for example let's find here an album my TV browser this is in Portuguese don't worry here I have for example okay let's see an album here album with ID 40 just for example we can come here to our artist list and see 40 40 belongs to belongs to Asher I know and is looking for myself here we have the maximum track that we have is 14 so what we need to get is the output is 14 the album ID is 72 so let's come here and replace by 72 and see what we have maximum track is 14 that's what we have to implement right there and if we put an album that doesn't exist what we have as the return no let's put 72 query again that's fine so let's come here and implement obviously we're going to have a prepared statement that we are going to set the in failure which is the id and the prepared statement is going to prepare the statement to be executed so let's say try prepared statement we can say query max album track that set int index and we pass the album id we have our result set result set it's going to be query max okay it's not recognizing so let's copy and say execute query and here we're going to have a result and if result set 
that next means something exists we're going to say int maximum track is what we get from the query and it's going to be result set get int we only have one column and it's this one and we simply have to return max track or just for simplification we can simply return result set that get int right here Okay, here we have if it can't find we have to return zero and let's catch a possible SQL exception right here e saying something failed to get maximum track number four album plus e that get message and return negative one this is the case that we don't want to see right after our query assist by song title let's insert this new prepared statement query artist by song title let's put our new private prepared statement query maximum album track okay here we have now after we open this one we are going to open our query maxi we just have to write max it's going to show us connection that prepare statement and here we have to put string right after we close this one we're going to close the new created one km differs from no so qma that close okay we can go back where we have the last square artist by song title I can see query artist by song title okay right after this one PSFS I already have created the translation of this query in terms of our constants so just to save time I'm going to copy and paste here we have okay now let's go and find our prepared statement why we have this red line and put query max album track let's go to our data source and here where we have insert the song where is our day insert the song we have the result being backed from that method we have to check if the track number is not equal to negative one if that's the case that means we have a valid track number so let's put here and we are getting the maximum that already exists so we have to register as the next track number so we have to add one if this is not true we will simply want to return and stop executing but how we want our method to become boolean as discussed in the last lecture we're going to return here false and change the return type to be boolean at this stage we can continue continue if we commit our change means everything went okay so let's return true if we come here to the else block instead of throwing we can simply return false 
and if we come to this exception means we have to return false things didn't happen how they should and we are done with this method now we can go to our controller after the button detail song what are we going to do is check with an else if the event oh my computer is slowing down that get source is equal to button add song if that's true what are we going to do well let's create the string that's going to hold the song title or this name and the album name validate those strings basically how we're going to validate is to see if those strings with the removed spaces length is at least one character so we have to check if the length is greater than zero the first string here is going to be for the song title and we get it from the song detail search bar text the string is going to be the artist name and we get it from the song detail artist okay it's not here but i know that it's from the song detail artist that get text this field is new and comes from our fxml so let's come here copy paste paste and change it to the new text field that we want to add next here we have artist and for the album we have detail album that's all let's go and find here next is going to be string to hold the album name and this is going to be song detail album that get text here we have imagine that you have a name like space a b c d spacey Rehan Space Alan. How we are going to validate? We are going to trim. The trim is going to remove the spaces that exist in both the end and the start. The result of the trim is going to is going to be this one. A B C D Rehan Alan. Okay, if we had a space here, the result would also be this one. If we had the spaces, the result would be this one. If we only put spaces, the result would be just an empty string. What we are going to do, we are going to trim these variables and check the length. The length is the amount of characters that our string has. In this case, we have A, B, C, D, which are 4, 5 with the space, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is going to be the length. If we have at least one character, that means the length is greater than 0 because it's 1. That name is valid for us okay so if song title the trim that length is greater than zero we're going to check if the artist name the trim that length is greater than zero then we're going to check if the album name the trim that length is greater than zero okay if that's true, we can start with our task. Our task is going to be of volume 1, the name is task, and is equal to new 
Tasky, I like the features that generates code for us and we return what we get from our data source that get instance not pie chart please data source that get instance that insert the song and here we put the song title we put the artist name and we put the album name fine some column right here what we want to do right now is say task that said on succeeded with lambda expression we are going to then check if task that fellow property that get is equal to true we're going to be putting color in our borders of text views we can simply create a method that's going to handle the task for us that method is going to be success or any name we're going to pass the text fields the first one is going to be for the song detail search bar the second one is going to be the detail artist and the last one but not least is going to be the album so song detail search bar success song detail artist success song detail album okay and what we're going to do is simply put the text on those text fields to be empty song detail search bar the set text to be not song detail artist set text nothing and song detail album text to be nothing and we can now implement these methods right let's come here where we have implemented the last one so let's say private void no return type success and this is going to take text field we're going to name it as text field we just have to say text field that set border this is the method that we have to use new border here we take a border stroke new border stroke this is how this method works color that rgb Put a beautiful RGB color here 176 24 now we have to put the border stroke style solid one corner ready empty and border with the default we are done let's go back where it's been used here we have but in case our song title is not valid, our test is not going to be executed because it won't get here to validate the artist name, neither the album name. What we have to do here is put an else statement just to make an alert to the user and we are going to create a method to do that for us. So let's put else here and say alert method this alert method is inside of the else that belongs to the if that was verifying the song title and song title is using the song detail search bar so let's pass here the song detail search bar okay next is this one for the artist name let's put an else statement here and say alert this one comes from song detail artist song detail artist and this one can just come from the song album name song detail album 
I'm sorry, sometimes when I code um, so fast so that I'm not synchronized in terms of speaking, thought, and writing. Semicolon right here. But I'm giving best to become synchronized. Let's come here up and find where we implemented success so that before we can implement alert private alert method void tile we take a text field and here we put a text field to set borders in case it becomes red and let's put a red color here it can be 226 one one zero one one zero okay close the parenthesis go back where we were using alert and see if we need something else well after we successfully complete our task we can simply query for the details of songs that are related with the song that we have added it can be fun but how we made that operation just be possible here it's not going to be possible because this code is only being used right here just to reuse this code we can make a function so let's copy and create a function what we have here is the input that may change is the text here of the song let's cut or we can simply copy it depends upon you we can come here and say private method void and this is find song detail and take just a string of our song we can simply pass here instead of saying get texty we simply put the song here and here we also are going to put the song that we are going to be passing to our parameter and where are you you are here so let's call the method find song detail detail and place song detail search bar sb okay that get text the next place where we're going to want is Okay, let's come here to details. Try to add the song without song title. You see what's getting here? Red border. Let's put a space. Red border. This is an alert for us. Let's put uh, the song title. Let's put good artist name. We won't put. You see if we add nothing here on good because it's valid, but for the artist name it's not valid. So let's put. Uh, okay adding it's not valid album name let's say pearl let's add here we have all of them became green 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 and we have results related to the song title that we have passed it here good and you see we have good 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 you can find q pearl track number one good we can put a new song title it can be mixed island the artist name we can put q again and the album name we're going to be putting pearl so that you can find the incrementation right here this song should be the track number two let's add and you can see number two perfect 
and if we put a new title or even the title mixed island artist name q and the album to be new one war for example or not success we must find this track being number one because the album is not what we already know you can see here we have we can put artist name q title hey money album name what are we going to do is put an album that we already know an album name that doesn't belong to q let me go to the db browser and find one here we can see we have this album romanza that doesn't belong to q we can paste here and add you can see track is number one and it's correct romanza is an album that exists in our application but romanza that existed before didn't belong to q that's why we have a new romanza and the track number is number one our application is working how it should this lecture was so long but was worth what you can do is right now validate the update for the artist for album and for song just validate it's going to turn your application more beautiful we already have methods that are going to make these more easy to perform end of the class let's implement the validation in our application be ready and let's go we want to implement the validation that we have already implemented to the other window of detailed song to artists albums and songs the validation is going to be the same if you want to do a more complex than that you are free to do so let's go to our application how the validation is going to be the same and we are going to be repeating we can simply create a method that's going to return to if the text trim that length is greater than zero and we can come here and start coding okay the method can be private the return type needs to be boolean since it's going to be true false and it can be is valid text we're going to pass as a string the text and text the trim that length is greater than zero we are done instead of writing here first place where we're going to be using our method song title that trim that length is greater than zero we're going to simply change here to is valid text song title artist name is valid text album name okay we can implement so the update of songs artist and the album so let's come here where we have handle update clicks okay we're going to see right here before we initialize our task if is valid what the new name because if the new name is not valid we don't need to create a task and start executing something we have to simply alert so let's put our code logic here and else right here what are we going to do is simply alert and use the artist search bar we are updating the artist let's come here also to the albums and say if is valid text new name what are we going to do we're going to create the task and do all the stuff that's below the task else we are going to put an alert 
and we are going to pass the album search bar album search bar but we also have to give him when he completes successfully so let's come here when the task being called the success pass the artist search bar right here it's called success and pass the album search bar for songs okay if is valid text new title we are going to execute what's here and if that's not the case what are we going to do we're going to alert and the search bar is on search bar here we're going to pass success song search bar okay let's see if our application is going to work what's happening here Except search bar okay we don't have a problem let's run our application and see if everything is going to work how it should okay let's try to update artist here we have this red border right here if we come to Beyonce and say is baby I know that your name is not baby update okay here we have it's green so let's change baby to Beyonce let's update okay everything is working fine for the arts let's go to albums and update here we are having red let's find four update to five is green let's change it back to four okay let's go to songs update is red let's go to one plus one and change it to two plus two okay is green one plus one let's update it to what it was albums we don't need here we don't need in artist song and for details we also don't need for the case when we click on this search icon but for add adding we need and we have done let's go to the next lesson end of the class let's remove the print line statements that we wrote during this project and change them by beautiful user interface error or warning messages be ready and let's start doing that if you come to our controller and just write system you're going to see that out print line here and we have how many print line statements two print line statements okay we're going to be changing them because print line is going to be just seen by the programmer and we don't need to have the print lines for us no more what we need is to show this message to the user using an interface let's implement the method that's going to be used to show the message and here we're going to write after the is valid method alert user interface method that's going to take the alert type the alert title the alert header and the alert content so let's write here public static void alert ui message let's take the alert that alert type let's say it's alert type a string holding the title string holding the header and the string to hold the content okay content right here let's create alert object alert this is going to be equal to new alert and we pass the alert type next we have set the title so let's set the title to be the title we have to set the header text which is this header we have to set the content text which is this content and finally we have to show to our user let's find where we have our print line statement print ln 
this first one let's change it instead of being the print line let's say alert you have a message and write alert alert type you can see we have error warning information none and confirmation play around with them so that you can see what's going to be the output in our case we want just to warn our user the title is going to be artists the header is going to be select an artist and the content is going to be no artist selected let's see how it's going to look like run the application okay we won't select an artist and let's click on album for artist here we can see select an artist no artist selected and the title is right here artist is let's click on ok and close we can implement to any other part of our program now feel free to implement or you can simply continue with me here where we have no song selected we won't be printing neither showing to our user because if the user doesn't select any song it's still possible to click on the search icon and find what the artist for that song let's come to our data source and see where we have to implement print line statements we have the first one oops something went wrong this is happening when our user is trying to open a connection we won't show anything to him about connection so let's simply remove the next is this one oops unable to close connection okay what we can do is come here and simply do what ignore this exception so let's say ignore it next is this one okay you may be wondering why we are not showing the user that our application doesn't have any connection to the database when it fails the first print line statement that we have deleted we're not going to be printing simply because when that happens our application closes what we have here okay query the artist this one is interesting to implement failure to query let's remove instead of saying failure to query we are going to print something more interesting let's go to query the artist this is where it's being used here we have okay we need to check if what is going to be returned from this query is null if it's null we're going to say something went wrong otherwise we're going to return the observable list containing details what we have to do here is simply click create a list of artist artist and say this is artist list let's import this class right here because we don't have and what we need to place as the result for this artist list is what we get from query artists method now we have to check if artist list is equal to null what are we going to do is to print this class is not running on a fx thread platform that run later and call a new runnable or simply with runnables lambda expressions we can do this and here we place the code this is going to be what music db controller dot alert ui message we have to refer the class because we are not inside of the class itself this is an inner class so let's put here alert okay alert type error let's say artist this this is the title say oops something went wrong here we can say couldn't 
find artist couldn't find artists instead of saying Felizu query now to see this operation happening we're going to modify our query the artists method to return null even if we have results and before I forget we have to return observable list of artist list right here let's go to our query the artist method and simply return no okay let's see what's happening you can see oops something went wrong couldn't find artists let's click on ok let's simply close this application and return artists this is what should be here for querying the album okay we're going to remove this print statement let's come to our controller copy because we are going to want this code come to our data source here we are going to find where it's being used and here we have let's create a list of album and say this is album list is equal to data source that get instance query albums for query the albums and data source I sending order here we have if album list is equal to now what are we going to do we're going to simply run this code right here okay instead of passing artists let's pass albums called and find album in plural and here we are going to simply pass the album list okay let's put all in one line and here we are done let's copy all this code go to our data source find the next method okay we're going to remove this print line statement right here control click and here is where it's being used control v we want the list to be of song this is going to be song list song list and here is query the songs if song list we're going to pass what songs couldn't find songs and this is song list okay let's go back to our data source the next is this one let's eliminate query album from arts id here we're going to pass the, we an observable list of album is album list we have to query the album for artist id album for artist id album list okay albums couldn't find albums we can say for artist and here we simply have to delete let's go to our data source and find the next is this one let's delete control click right here let's paste what we've copied and we need to know that we simply are going to get what we're going to get artist object because this is the return type now it's not an artist list uh, right here let's say we have our artist we are going to say query the artist for song id here what we pass is the song id so song that get id and if artist right now is equal to now we're going to pass here artist 
something went wrong, couldn't find artist for song. Here we're going to return observable array list of artist and delete what we have here. Let's go to our data source, find the next query artists for song title. Okay, here we have. Let's go, let's simple paste here the list of artists, artist list. Okay, we could copy this from artist, but okay, I'm going to be fast. Query. The artist for song title, what we pass here is what we get from our artist song, song search bar that get texty. Here we check if the artist list is equal to null, so that's true, we say artist and couldn't find what artist for song let me see query artist for song title okay couldn't find artist for song that's true and artist list right here now we can remove what we have right here below Let's go to our data source, see what's next. This method is not being used, so we won't worry how I can see. The method name here is not highlighted as this one. So let's ignore, 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 get count, fail to get count. Okay, here we want to tell our user anything create a view for song artist we won't tell anything about the view creation okay here query the song info view we can tell so let's remove here control click come here and have a list of artist song but let's simply past what we have copied artist song and say artist song list what you have to execute is query song info view query song info view here we pass the song and if artist song list is equal to null here we going to say details oops something went wrong and couldn't find details for song here we pass the artist song list and we return only deadline. Let's go to our data source again. Loop artist song result. No, nothing here. Insert the artist. Okay, let's see. We simply have troll, troll, troll. We don't have print lines here. Update. We don't have nothing. Okay, we have troll exceptions okay here insert the song insert the song let's remove all the print lines that we have here Good and roll back exception okay let's simply put ignore it if you want to show your user you can show but let's make things become more simple. SQL exception. 
ignored okay let's find where it's being used it's right here here instead of returning we're going to say if data source that get instance that insert song song title or this name of name is equal to true what we can do here is return true if it comes to the next line that means it's not true it couldn't insert the song we're going to paste our code right here and just use this part let's come here remove and what are we going to do we're going to alert it's an error we're going to say the title is of song insertion song insertion oops something went wrong couldn't insert song insert song and let's return false what else we need let's go to our data source insert the song done this is find our max album track no we won't be implementing for this yes we are done we don't have print lines here and here we have print line for the query string but this print line is not going to be used because we're going to be deleting this method when we refactor it's not in usage failure to query this method is also is not in usage this method is not in usage not in usage not in usage not in usage we are done with this lecture end of the class let's refactor our software be ready and let's go refactoring a software is changing the code so that it becomes better internally without affecting the external behavior with that we can increase the performance and the manageability of our project let's start with this class that is in front of us album here you can see that our IDE is even giving us some advices here and they are warnings if we come here and simply hover on any of them you can see field ID may be final and that's true because once we initialize the values of the ID the name or the artist they don't change during the execution of our program we can make them final simply accept and for name and artist also so let's simply write final here notice some difference right here between the method names color here we have something a bit green i don't know if i'm seeing well and here we have something more gray green means that we have used this method somewhere in our project and this color right here means we haven't used it what we can do is simply remove what we are not using right here we can come here and see what hint we have we have method id property is never used and safe delete id property if we click it's going to delete this method for us safely we can search in comments and strings if it's necessary or we can even search for text occurrence in our project in our case we know that we don't have used these two any part of it so we can even click here and click click on ok it will save it for us we are not going to be using the IntelliJ future we're going to simply remove because we know our code get artist also and simple integer property we will also remove for this class we are pretty much done let's check all yes we are done let's go to the object artist and do the same they can be final we agree so let's put here final 
what we don't need these two methods here this one and this one let's go to artist song coming here we can simply let all of them be final see the methods that we have these methods that return the, uh, the property type value can be removed this one can be removed this one can be removed and this one can be removed some methods cannot be removed even when our IDE is not telling us that we didn't use because we can have some instructions that are executed by Java in the virtual machine behind the scenes that make the usage of those methods for us without even being explicitly called by us. For example, get title, get track, get album name and artist name are going to be used. That's why we are not being making the remotion right here. The methods get artist name, get album name, get track and title are going to be used to bind the, the results. So make sure that we don't remove them. Let's come to songs and remove this property here get album let's remove let's remove and let's remove also make sure that all of them are final and we are done let's go to our controller and see what we can improve here let's start from this line 25 and wait for IntelliJ to identify everything that is a warning for us okay let's start scrolling 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 we have this button here so let's put the buttons where other buttons are right here okay let's come here you can see we have these variables and they are not being used notice the difference between the color so let's remove label 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 font awesome icon view font awesome icon view type is right here above let's put the grid paint progress bar text field and everything is fine what we have here okay uncheck it assignment change variable task to get all artist tasks before we make anything let's see where this class is it's here okay it's task so we have to put here observable list of artists and this needs to fix we have right here up let's see no more that yellow background good here we don't have nothing let's go and see replace with lambda expression we can replace it's not going to alter the result of our mode. we can even remove this exception because this exception is never thrown in this method so we can simply remove replace lambda okay we have already replaced it somewhere else we have to let's go here new runnable let's replace with lambda expression see what else we can do let's replace replace it here for us let's remove this exception okay here also we have to replace with lambda and what let's go down also here we have to replace with just angle brackets without any data type inside let's remove let's go down okay here we can remove okay we can here remove let's go down let's click here 
something is missing where here so replace with lambda let's forward to the next here we already have lambda expression replace with lambda expression a come here replace with lambda come here we're going to replace with lambda here also we're going to remove boolean remove this section let's see here remove that's the, one of the advantages of having in development also helps you to refactor your code let's replace remove click here we're going to replace we're going to remove coming here what are we going to do is simply replace here remove right here we're going to replace with the lambda come down click here replace remove coming here also we're going to replace what is missing right here we're going to replace let's go we have this red unused import let's remove this unused import remove all the unused imports to have in your code unused imports are the imports that are not being used in our application for any purpose our controller is okay let's go to our data source this one is going to be more uh, painful to work with but we are going to work first let's use what we are being advised here descending order okay we can remove these because we are not using in our application remember that all the cards that we were making we were retrieving the data in the ascending order but we have higher chances to use any other order in a future update if we make an update think on the present and also on the future this is not consuming so much resources in our application so let's leave let's come here and see we have this query and this query is not used in our application so let's remove and leave what we are using in our application let's come here this instance can be final okay you can even see that our IntelliJ is giving us this suggestion okay let's come here this method is not being used this method also is not being used we use it when we were working with the console but now in our graphical user interface we're not using so let's remove now create a view for artist make method void okay because we are not using the truth or false value of this retardant statement so make void doesn't really mean a problem for us looking for usage okay catch this exception can be simply ignored ignored let's go down and see this method is not being used so let's remove go more okay here we don't have anything let's see what we have here a query that's not being used we have to remove oh i think i made something that i shouldn't have done okay let's remove this 
this one also needs to be removed these two need to be removed what else this one okay this one is fine let's put this query here align it with others see what we have here first we have a prepared statement that query view song title info view then we have the insertion queries okay queries start here so let's take this and put right here okay query query update that's perfect we have the table here the column the indexes this is all related to album this is all related to album related to artist related to artist related to song song query artist start string sort string all we have here are queries table artist song view okay we should eliminate this area so let's copy all of this and it's going to be better if we place right here before our queries or we can even place after but let's place somewhere and push this query to this side so that we can only have queries here we have query 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 so let's copy all what is query 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 and this query right here okay and paste while right here after so this query okay let's simply remove the space the insertion is here the update is here okay nice let's push it up here we have already seen we have here everything looking where it should be let's go down going more down and down okay we don't have to make any modification right here let's see what we have here our test is good no unused import okay you can see that we have many constants many constants in our controller it would be okay if we separate these constants and put all of them in a different place not right here in our data source class so to make it more organized let's cut how i've already done and create a new class that's going to hold these constants this class is going to be final so let's create new class and we can say data source values right here inside we're going to say that this class is final and let's pass all this information let's go to our data source and see what we have as a problem we have this red color in the variables because they are not being recognized but what we can simply do in order to recognize is import that class so let's come here and say import and let's pass uh, the path where the data source values class is we can find in com that example that music db graphical user interface right here go inside of models go to data source values and i want to import everything that's what we have as the risk let's see if we have any problem okay we still have problem data source has seven problems what is the problem here 
data source values are here all of them let's go back and see okay what's missing is the static keyword right here all their static that we need now let's go to our controller and see if we have any problem we have problems data source that I sending order it doesn't find this constant in the data source that's true because we have removed it from the data source and we've placed it in data source values so let's put right here data source values find the next place where we have this red data source values the next one is right here data source values here data source values here data source values data source values and also data source values okay what's missing okay nothing let's open other classes and see if we don't have anything going wrong no 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 let's go to our controller right now when we were coding in the previous lecture i forgot to pass here in the query the album for earth id parameter the right value i've passed the data source values that are sending order but what happens is that here we must have the artist id okay now let's see what we happens when we run this application okay we have here the artist let's query for an artist for example okay bring it we have so let's update to bring that update let's turn it back to bring it fine albums we can find album for okay here we have let's change to eight eight okay four because this is the original name here we have the songs we are going to find 24k magic I like this song then I'm going to change it to 48k magic here we have let's leave it how it must be because the name is 24k magic everything is working and we have modified our code album for an artist okay album for the artist bring it we can go and see album for the artist ariana grande album for the artist uh, justin timberlake everything is still working artist for a specific song we can come here and click on abanar belongs to mr bow we can go and find another song here for example best for you belongs to maroon 5 detail for song the song title we're going to find all that is related to good let's find okay goodbye good 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 and so on we have the details right here let's add song and the song title is going to be happy to see artist name is going to be ego album name is going to be so funny okay but before we add let's see how many albums we have we have 40 albums 964 records and 45 
records for artists coming here let's add okay, okay. 965 songs 81 records for the albums and we have 45 records we need to update for the artist because for the songs and albums it's already working well let's put another one here we must see 966 and here we must see 82 i like it just send the title the artist name is going to be doja am album name is going to be try let's add albums we have 82 and here we have 966 for songs artists still 45 what we need to do is update the value right here in our records and table every time we click on artist we didn't do this during development but if you feel the need to do so you have to do and i feel the need that's why i'm going to do and this will leave the application more trusted so let's go to our controller and when we click on the button artists what we have to do is run that method that's going to list the artists next what we have to do is run this show artist discount show artist discount but since we are calling here let's make sure that the part where we set the text is going to be inside of the platform that run later we can run later right here let's simply use the lambda and here we can write everything we want Okay, you see, it's already helping us. Let's run this application and see if everything is going to be working fine. Let's go to detail song, say beautiful. The artist name is hype, and the album name is cool 3x. Let's add. But before we add, let's confirm. 47 records for artists, 82 records for albums, and 966. Okay, let's add. Done. Now we have 48, we have 83, and we have 967. It's working. This is the end of the class. Let's move to the next.